How's it going today guys and uh, welcome back to the vault. This is a hunt that I filmed back in 2016. It's my uh, oldest son Jack's very first uh, bull elk hunt and uh, for some reason I, I just I didn't get I just I did not get very much footage on this hunt. I think we were so concentrating on making sure he was able to get a bull that I carried the camera with me but I just did not get a lot of footage so what I did was um, earlier in that season my hunting partner Sonny and I archery hunted the same unit that Jack had the the elk tag for and uh, we did well we both killed uh, five point bulls we were both super stoked about that this first footage right here is some of the bulls that Sonny and I had filmed on that hunt and of course we were unable to film either of our kill shots which is a bit of a bummer but anyway here's some of the bulls that we were able to film Now this first bull coming up the hill right here, Sonny actually killed this bull and uh, it was just happened to be right after he stepped off the frame. Okay, now we got to fast forward about four weeks. Uh, my son Jack and I are back on the mountain again. We're on the exact same ridges where Sonny and I were hunting in the archery season. And uh, like I said earlier, Sonny and I both, uh, Sonny and I both harvested bulls off the ridge lines right here. We had seen a big, big bull in there during the archery season. So Jack and I were in pursuit of that guy. side of that ridge there so one of them none of them are super awesome but one of them's one i think if we can't find anything better this morning we're going to see if we can't get after him so he's a six by six bull but his fists are pretty weak but regardless um, we're going to see what else we can come up with if not that's a bull we want to shoot so he's a little broken up 
but that's okay. That's going to happen this time of year. So, anyway, it's going to get good. All right, well, Jack made the right decision and chose not to shoot any of those bulls. None of them were really, you know, we got closer, and they just they weren't great. They were not great, not something that we wanted to tag. We knew there were bigger bulls in that unit. We just had to be patient. So I pretty much left the rest of this footage uncut. If you like raw motion, you're not going to see more raw motion than you're about to see on, in this footage right here. After all these years of hunting, it, it's so awesome to still, for me to get so excited, even if I'm not the one pulling the trigger. My son pulling the trigger on this bull right here, 20 times better than me ever shooting anything. Take him. Oh, you fucking. That's the biggest fucking bull. <laughs> it worked.
So you hit him about 240 yards. Okay. Alright. So deer tomorrow? <sighs> uh, I think we'll be packing up still. Yeah, probably. So we didn't get any footage of him this morning. We got some pictures of him. But uh we glassed that bull at daylight this morning from quite a ways away so we waited till we saw where he uh, bedded up for the day and then we just took our time and got up here and where he went in it was like 200, 250 yards 240 yards and we were hoping he came back out in the same spot and he did you guys this bull is awesome he's a five by six but wait till you see his main beams they are just awesome this is jack's first bull we have worked our tails off how far did we walk today jack i'm gonna tell you <laughs> eight and a half miles eight and a half miles a day we did so far we've got probably it's about five miles back to the to the trailhead But we've probably done, I know the first day we did 14 miles. 14 miles. 14 day. miles the first day, and we did eight or something like that yesterday. A little over eight yesterday. And it rained the day in between, so we really didn't do any walking that day. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We got to go take care of this bull.
done. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll make this short and sweet. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate you guys. Uh, anytime you subscribe, you know, it just helps me out a lot. Uh, we're really trying, working hard to get our subscriber base up in the process. I'm getting a website built right now. We're going to start selling some apparel online, that kind of stuff. We'll do, you know, a lot of fun stuff on the website. So I'm super looking forward to that. Thank you guys again for your support, and we will catch you on the next episode of the